The October 2023 Hamas-led Palestinian attack on the state of Israel is far more well-planned than you might think. But what do we know about Hamas? Welcome to the interesting documentary channel, where today I will tell you about the Hamas group, who has been leading Palestine since the 2006 elections. If you want more similar content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To understand what is happening, first we need to enter this region after the First World War, when the British ruled here. As early as the 7th century, Arabs appeared in this area, and since then they have been the largest ethnic group in this region. Since 1518, these territories were occupied by the Ottoman Empire, who did not control this region independently. Arab Palestinians, Palestine was assigned to Syria, and did not create any local political structures. In fact, until the British occupied these lands in 1917, there was no Palestinian nationality. In these lands, at that time, the vast majority of the population were Muslims. Representatives of other religions also lived there, such as Christians and Jews themselves, who were a minority there. They were all called Palestinians. After the First World War, as a genocide, the Nazis killed over 6 million Jews. Great Britain decided to give them their own land. As they said it was their promised land. But since the Palestinians already lived in this region, they really didn't want to let a Jew in. However, in 1947, the United Nation proposed to establish a separate Jewish state in Palestinian lands. The Jews did not object to this. However, this was opposed by the Palestinians and all the surrounding Arab states. 1948 The creation of Israel led to a year-long war. After this war, Israel take even more Palestinian lands than it was agreed. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians had to abandon their homes and to escape or settle in territories that still belonged to Palestine. That was the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. However, Israel controls access and movement between these territories, especially in the Gaza Strip, where over 2.5 million people now live. And the population concentration is one of the highest in the world. As tensions continue to rise between Israel and the surrounding Arab states, on June 5, 1967, the so-called Six-Day War began. Israel, Egypt, Syria, and Jordan participated in it. This war was the shortest in Israel's history. The forces of the Israeli army surpassed the forces of the armies of all Arab countries. The armies of Egypt, Jordan, and Syria were crushed. During the war, Israel occupied the Sinai Peninsula, the Golan Heights, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank and East Jerusalem. However, the so-called Palestinian lands are under economic blockade and have very limited natural resources. The West Bank is divided into separate zones, and only a small part of it is completely under Palestinian control. The rest is free of the Israeli army and full of illegal Jewish settlements where Palestinians are forced to leave their homes and Jews are brought into them, who settle here for political, religious, and financial reasons. Palestinian-controlled territories in the West Bank are surrounded by walls, which severely restrict the access of Palestinians to water, cultivated lands, and roads. Israel controls the airspace and the coast near the Gaza Strip, controls the roads on which goods travel to and from the territory. Life in the Gaza Strip is indeed difficult. Unemployment reaches 50%, very poor infrastructure and medical system. Hamas was formed in the late 80s as a resistance group. Their purpose was to resist the oppression of Israel. Hamas has been recognized as a terrorist organization by many countries. Hamas, which has a military backing and an army of politicians, won the democratic elections in 2006. But because of the constant attacks on Israel, it was isolated from the international community. However, Hamas still controls Gaza. Israel does not lift the blockade of Gaza and the occupation of the West Bank. They having their total power. The local people are already tired of the Israeli occupation and blockade. Hamas does not recognize Israel as a state and believes that Palestine should rule the entire territory. 
both sides, both Israel and Palestine, are accused of numerous war crimes against innocent civilians. This whole story is indeed very complicated. But we can agree that both Israel and Palestine, because of their military, brutal actions against innocent people, are doing wrong. In the end, as in every war, the most will lose the innocent people. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next interesting documentary video.